Welcome to part one of this um, helicopter game tutorial and uh, in this part we're going to be looking at um, creating a helicopter making it look like the rotors are moving and also um, can make getting the controls ready for the helicopter so we've opened up scratch here and um, you need to be uh, having scratch open at the same time and following exactly what I'm doing and saying so it's almost like a play pause it you do it play it again and pause it again it's the best way to learn and follow these things okay and understand what we're doing so this is a blank scratch we don't want a cat anything to do with cats do we want helicopters so what we can do straight away is get rid of that um, sprite the cat sprite what we do need is a helicopter sprite okay so we get a new sprite and we want to go to transportation and we've got some cars and trains we need the helicopter okay press OK and here's our helicopter and the first thing we're going to do we're just going to edit the helicopter to make it look correct look it look good so go to costumes and we're going to make this look a little bit smaller as well okay just so we can just so that we can um, have a little bit more room in our game to play around with. Okay, the next part is we're going to get rid of these rotors here, what are called rotors. Okay, and um, first of all, just to help this, I'm going to um, zoom this in a bit so we can see uh, what I'm doing. Okay, so let's take the existing rotors up, off because we're going to create. Um, a series of costumes where the rotor in different positions and when you we put a loop in it will look like the rotors are are moving around okay so let's um, just get rid of that so go to the eraser just very carefully get rid and I would get rid of all the blue parts okay be very I'm not particularly careful so knowing me I'm gonna mess it up but hopefully not Here, into there. Oops, see, I already messed a little bit up. Oh, no, do it again. Let's do this quickly. Sorry, you'll be much better than I am. Try to keep the little orange thing in the middle. I'll make it a little bit more professional. Okay. Oops, da, da, da. Okay. Try to tidy it. I know you can probably. Right, that's not too bad. Now zoom it back out, so that that's what it looks like in real life. Now, we've got helicopter any uh, any uh, rotors uh, and blades, so it's not going to work particularly well. And did I just? There we go. I just made a massive <laughs> um, thing in the back of the back of the tail of the rotor of the helicopter. So now we've got this helicopter with no rotors the best thing to do now from experience is if we need to duplicate this three times so we have the same helicopter okay because same helicopter same size same look in um, the right position so what you don't want to do is draw it once and then have to redraw it again it never looks the same you get a really shuddery sort of look and feel so first position let's put some new rotors in so we're going to put a little black line in Okay, you can control the thickness down here. All right, and then we're going to have this first position here. Okay, and we're going to have it try to make it as equal as you can, like that. Okay, that's the first position. Go to the next. Okay, you can always see the, the last position there. And then we're going to have it go across the body, like. That. Okay, I don't like. There we go. Maybe try to add a little bit on this. It might be too much. Yeah. Okay, might be alright. And then this one here. So we've had that way, that way. So we could do with one across the body, like, like that. Might be a bit too long. Let's have a look. 
So let's see. I might be okay. Okay, so now what we've got is we've got a helicopter with some mo different costumes. If we go back into the coding section, do you think you could think about how you could make that always go to the next costume so it goes, so it's almost like costume one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and you get that sort of rotor, that sort of movement. Okay, well, let's have a little look at that. So, um, when we start the game, what do we want to do? Well, some sort of loop, don't we? Like it loops the costumes. So go in here forever. Okay. And what do you think it might be next? What would you think it might be? And we want to change the costume. Okay, next costume. Okay, let's try it. Okay, it isn't too bad. It's not the greatest look in the world, but it's okay. I'm sure you'll do better, by the way, so don't worry about it. So let's leave it like that. And you can see this code, these costumes going back and forward. And it does look like a bit of a wobbly helicopter, but we'll leave it like that. So that code has given you um, some um, some animated uh, rotors. I'm sure you do a better job. Look forward to seeing it. Um, next part is we want to control it. So let's pop that code up there. That, that works. Turn it off again, a bit annoying. Let, how do we get make it go up, down, left, and right? Okay. Well, that's a control. Um, sorry, it's not an event. Sorry. Uh, we need when. Let's do, I'm going to do arrows. Okay. You can do WASD or something different if you want to. Okay. So when the. I'm going to do up arrow. Let's also, if I duplicate this, let's get this down arrow. Duplicate it again, and we're going to have it. Just, I'll show you what I'm doing here, Brian. What is he doing? So we want up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, and this is going to be our movement. If I can actually get my mouse on it, left arrow, left arrow. So we've got up and down, right. So let's put right over there because it's right and that's up and down. Okay, so those are the four controls that we're going to have. Okay, so if we want, let's do the up part. And I'm going to use the X and the Y, a bit like the intro one. So X is left to right, a bit like the X axis in mass. And y is the Y axis, the up and down, the sort of north, uh, south and north uh, axis going up. So we want, when the up arrow is pressed, we want it to go up. So what axis is that, do you know? It's the Y axis, isn't it? And that goes on the y axis, goes up. Let's, what does that do? Oh, it goes up. Okay, it's because that's plus. So y is down. So we know that if we want to make it go down, real simple stuff. Okay, change the um, y by not 10, minus 10. Always test your code. Okay, down, up, down, up down and up okay yeah it goes off the screen we'll sort that out another time okay and the left one let's turn it off it is a bit annoying we want to motion we're not going to use y are we going to use x okay x but if we press left what happens oop it goes right y because it needs to be minus 10 okay and we can do the same here x all right so now let's try again. You go up, down, left, and right. Okay, and uh, that's your movement. Okay. So that's part one done, and what we've achieved is we've um, we've um, created code here to make um, the rotors spin. We've actually created the rotors, haven't we? That was a bit fiddly. And uh, we've done the up, down, left and right. So we've got at least the start of our helicopter game. Hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, good luck.